Nairn and uh, Hyman Township meeting of January 10th uh, open for business. Um, and welcome to everyone who's logged in on Zoom. Um, so now we'll go to, is there any declarations of conflict of interest for counselors? No. 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 Okay, uh, moving on then, uh, we'll go right to number three for delegations. So uh, we have one delegation tonight that is Amy Maisie, chair of the Community Parks and Recreation Committee to provide an update regarding the recreation activities. So I'll turn it over to you, Amy. Sorry. Um, well, that was fast. Um, I just wanted to give a quick update. I know you guys have been really busy. Um, December 11th, we had our Christmas under the stars. Um, we went ahead, even though there was a limit of 25, including all of our volunteers. We had about six firefighters, including Santa. Um, we gave out 43 gifts to children in the community, 13 and under, um, 99 hamburgers and sausages and crafts. Uh, most of the boys, five and up, got hockey sticks, and some of the girls did too. So we should have lots of use at the rink. We had horrible weather, which was actually, it made it easier to enforce the limits. So <laughs> it was tricky to keep it at 25 all the time. Thanks for your help for being there. Fred, we had volunteers come early, but then we had to dismiss them so that then we could have um, kids and families come to the event. So it was, it was just different. Um, it wasn't an event where we could all be together. Um, the firefighters were great. We couldn't do the sing-along. We couldn't do the boot toss or rolling pin toss just because of limits. Um, and so anyway, I'm calling it a success. Um, I was happy with it. People were happy to come out. Next year, we're hopefully looking forward to something that could look like February frolics, um, do outdoor events, um, possibly town cleanup, community garden, hanging baskets again, some kind of outdoor summer event if restrictions are relaxed. Of course, a kid's Easter, Halloween and Christmas event of some kind. Euchre tournaments, if we can ever get back into the hall. And we've really enjoyed doing a weekly uh, pickleball in the fall. And I'm sure we'll be back into that and maybe even some weekly skating activities as the rink gets going. I just mostly wanted to start a dialogue between rec committee and council because I think together we can kind of coordinate better and um, just more clearly communicate what we're doing and what we're interested in doing and maybe what you would like to see. Um, but thanks for listening to me. Any any comments or questions? I had a comment, Mr. Chair. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, through you, I just want to say thank you again, Amy. I know I've told you before, but thank you so much uh, for your dedication and time that you put into the events. It's uh, you know, a rec committee that is uh, the socialization of a community. And I appreciate everything that you and your volunteers and your team are doing and keep up the great work. Thank you. Oh, thanks. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I'd also like to extend my uh, thank yous to you as well, Amy. I know how much uh, work goes into it. And I'm happy to keep keep on with the meetings as, as much as COVID restrictions put us back. Uh, I think there's still some things that we can plan out and have uh, activities for the township. Yeah, I think we just have to be flexible moving over, moving forward. I think we we're all hoping it would be done by now, but there are things we can do. We just have to, you know, enforce restrictions and uh, find fun options, you know. But that's it, I didn't wanna take more time. So thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, so I guess now uh, councillors will move to uh, any discussions arising from previous minutes. Uh, that would be the December 13th council meeting. No, I have none. 
No, I'm good. Okay, uh, so we'll now move on to the <clears throat> approval of those minutes. Uh, <coughs> Councillor McDonald, can I get a first? Yes. And Councillor Jingra, a second? Yes. Moved by Councillor McDonald, second by Councillor Jingra, resolved that the following council minutes be accepted as presented. Regular council mi meeting minutes, December 13th, uh, 2021. Councillor Borier, in favor? Yes. Councillor Jingra? Yes. And Councillor McDonald? Yes. Myself is yes, so that carries. Okay. Um, and now we'll go to uh, the motion I have in front of me is just to uh, accept the, the minutes and reports as presented. Um, and then I will hand off, uh, we have another motion to hand off the duties of the chair to the uh, clerk CAO um, for the uh, purpose of the nominations to fill the vacant seat. Um, so I just have two more motions and then I'll hand it off to the CAO for um, chairing duties. So. Um, this is to just accept the minutes and reports as noted. So, Councillor Borier, a first? Yes. And Councillor McDonald, a second? Uh, yes. I just like to make one suggestion, though. I like to deal with C and D before we deal with A and B on six uh, report, on minutes reports. Okay. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, we can, uh, we, yeah, we can go. We can go from uh, six. Uh, yeah, we we could we can do that before I turn it over to the CAO. I think. Okay. Okay. So six D. I would like to talk about first. Okay. Whenever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is just to accept the minutes as presented, or the uh, minutes and reports as presented. So, moved by Councillor Borier, second by Councillor McDonald. Uh, be it resolved that the following minutes and reports 6A to D are noted as received. Township of Nairn and Hyman CAO's report number 2022-01, procedure to fill vacant office of the mayor. B, Township of Nairn and Hyman CAO's report 2022-02, options for filling the council vacancy resulting from the appointment of a council member to the office of the mayor. Um, 6C, Ombudsman of Ontario cover letter December 2021 and 6D uh, Ombudsman of Ontario final report December 2021. Um, so can I get uh, in, in favor, Councillor Borier? Yes. Councillor Jingra? <clears throat> yes. Councillor McDonald? Yes. And myself is a yes, so that carries. And um, I guess now we'll go to uh, six uh, D. Uh, not sure if there was any comments on six C. I believe that was just a brief email. Um, but we'll go to comments on six D. I, I believe uh, Councillor McDonald had something to say. Uh, yes. Um, on 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 six C, there said that we we should have a resolution stating how we're going to intend to address this report. After reading the report. <clears throat> I feel that the, that the council broke the municipal act and it broke our own bylaws, same as Councillor Jingris and Councillor McDonald did, and we reprimanded. I like to put a motion on the table that we reprimand these three council members for their action, the same as, uh, as they did to us. So I would like the motion say, stating that, that the three councillors be reprimanded for each contact. It, uh, there were three meetings that they did not uh, record it or put it out on the website or on the postings. And I like to them to be reprimanded for it. Okay. I, don't know the word um, the, I don't know how the word the, the motion, but. Yeah, okay. Um, I The motion I have in front of me the motion I have in front of me is that we accept the uh, report um, and the report will be made public. Um, and then it uh, confirms that the uh, members of council will, or will follow through with the recommendations. But um, if that's if that's a motion that you uh, want to bring forward, I can get the CAO to word it um, and we can vote on it. 
Yes, I would like that. Uh, Mr. Chair? Yeah, go ahead, Councilor Jenga. I know, I know I'm speaking out of turn. Um, if I could uh, uh, just mention that, uh, having heard uh, Councillor McDonald and his request right now, I actually, and of course, having read the uh, final ombudsman's report, I was going to uh, submit a notice of motion today, right now at this meeting, um, to discuss um, not only the report, but anything that might come out of it, and also uh, extended, uh, uh, you know, to that, um, our service contract that we have with the integrity commissioner and the private company. So. I don't know if you want, because I would like to put that notice of motion on the table right now for discussion at the next meeting. So I don't know if we wanted to do everything regarding the report at the same meeting or if Councillor McDonald wanted to specifically do that right now, uh, because I'm okay waiting until next month's meeting. Well, the okay, only problem um, with that. I'm sorry, Mr. Chair, go ahead. Go, yep, no, go ahead, uh, Councilor McDonald. Okay, the only thing, uh, uh, the, the next meeting would be too late for filling those uh, vacancy because my recommendation is that that the no councillors, no uh, council member should take the mayor's chair under these conditions. Uh, I know I, I broke the Miss Black and I broke the, the bylaw, and the same as all of us. And I think we should post it now and have a new Reeb come in and our new mayor come in and take that job. So if we wait the next month, we'd be too late for it. Okay, That's councilor. My suggestion. Yeah. Um, oh. I, I right. believe that we, we've already voted that someone from council is going to replace, um, replace the vacant seat. Um, so I don't know if you want, if you're asking to rescind that and, and we put out the vacant seat for, for public, but we voted already that it will be somebody from council and we have to vote, we have to vote on it tonight in terms of uh, filling that seat to be in accordance with the Municipal Act. Um, so I'm not sure what your suggestion is to go about I'm that. Suggest I'm suggesting that we rescind the last motions in the last meeting because I made my, my vote on that the conditions I didn't realize uh, until we got the report from the odds amendment, what happened, and now now I changed my mind. So I think if we rescind that and put a new motion on that, if if the other ones agree with me, if not, well then we'll go on with it. But uh, I like to see that a new Reeve come in and take our take his fill the seat, and we have to put post it and and we have to have done for sometime in February. Okay, is there any... Comment, Mr. Chair? Yeah, I did yeah. have a comment, Mr. Chair. Yeah, go ahead. Um, just responding to Councillor McDonald. Um, yes, at our last meeting, uh, correct, we did uh, pass a motion to fill the um, mayor's seat with a member of council. Um, we did see the preliminary report of the ombudsman and the final report is very, very similar. Um, <laughs> just a few extra details, um, but I'm not, I'm still willing to entertain uh, any reprimand that might come out of this report for existing counselors or anything, but I think today we really do, we're only months away from an election, like not even, I think nine months, uh, maybe not even, right? And I just think for that time and for the next few months, just to have a mayor in place, uh, you know, things are gonna change in nine months anyway. Uh, so I would uh, support going ahead with replacing the mayor with a uh, counselor that's sitting. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, Councillor. Um, I, I'm just going to um, turn it over to the CAO. I believe there is um, a process with, uh, if we do bring up a motion of, of reprimand for a Councillor and, and uh, she knows the procedure uh, better than I do. So I'll just turn it over for her to, for further explanation. 
Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, in speaking to certain counselors being reprimanded for the Ombudsman uh, report, um, nowhere in that report was there any mention that any of the counselors that were involved in this investigation committee to be reprimanded. Um, and if other counselors were to be reprimanded, it would have to be through uh, the integrity commissioner. So it would have to be a, a code of conduct breach and it would have to be investigated. Um, it, it can't just be done with the motion. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you for the CEO for clarifying that. Um, I guess maybe if Councillor McDonald had a comment on that, um, maybe that's the venue that you wanna take it through um, by all means. Well, I, I feel that the, I'm outnumbered anyway, so but whatever you, uh, the rest feels like doing it, uh, go ahead. I'll be voting no on anything. Okay, um, so I guess uh, I, I do, I have noted Councillor Gingras' uh, notice of motion to discuss this next meeting. Um, so we will be discussing um, what has come out of the Ombudsman report in terms of the employment with the Integrity Commissioner. Um, and maybe maybe there, Councillor McDonald can, can bring up um, what he believes is uh, what he believes in. So uh, we'll move on here. Um, and if, if Councillor McDonald wants to go through the integrity commissioner before that, he has every power to do so. So thank you for acknowledging my notice of motion, Mr. Chair. Okay, so um, I won't be going through to the Taylor Commission because I got no reason to, to go to them at all anymore. <clears throat> they're, they're, I don't, I don't uh, think that they're doing a good job. So that's my opinion of them. So I'm not even going to bother going there because they're going to do what they want. Okay, and I mean, and we we like I said before, um, that that's something that if you want to bring up uh, to to um, the other meeting or uh, to something else, then then you can uh, bring it through the integrity commissioner. But uh, as mentioned, that all the reprimands uh, to council councilors go through um, the investigation process. So yeah, I'll wait next month uh, next month to see what happens there. Okay. Okay, so this is just to um, accept the final report of the uh, Office of the Ontario Ombudsman um, and, uh, and confirm that Council will follow through on the recommendations. So, uh, Councillor Jingra, can I get a first on that? Yes. And Councillor Borgier, a second? Yes. Moved by Councillor Jingra, second by Councillor Borier. Be it resolved that the Council of the Township of Nernenheim and hereby accept the final report uh, from the Office of the Ombudsman with regards to the investigation complaints into about the meetings of the investigation committee on June 4th, August 5th, and October 19th, 2020, and confirms that it'll follow through with the recommendations in the report. And be it further resolved that this report will be placed on the township's website for public viewing. Councillor Borier in favor. Yes. Uh, Councillor Jinger in favor. <coughs> yes. Councillor McDonald. <coughs> yes. Myself is a yes. So that carries. Okay. I will now, um, we will now go into um, the other minutes and reports. This is just to uh, move that we uh, hand the duties of the chair over to the clerk CAO. So uh, Councillor Borea, can I get a first? Yes. Councillor McDonald, a second? Yes. 
Moved by Councillor Borier, second by Councillor McDonald, be it resolved that the duties of the chair be given to the CAO clerk for the purposes uh, for the purpose of nominations for the vacant seat of the mayor. Councillor Borier in favor. Yes. Councillor Jinger in favor. Yes. Councillor McDonald. Yes. And myself as a yes, so that carries. And I will now turn it over to the CAO. Thank you, Mr. Chair. All right. <clears throat> Sorry about that, unmute myself. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're going to open up the floor for nominations for the vacant seat of uh, the mayor. Would anyone like to put forward um, a nomination? Uh, yes, <laughs> Madam Chair. Nope. Sure, go ahead. Uh, yes, I'd like to move that we nominate Deputy Mayor Frederick Diebel for the mayor's position. Okay, thank you. Can I get a second on that? Yes, you can. Thank you, Kathy. So uh, the motion reads, uh, therefore be it resolved that Frederick Debo be nominated to fill the vacant office of the mayor. Uh, Kathy, for or against? Yes, for. Okay, and Brigida? Yes. And Rod? I'm going to vote no, but I'm going to give him a reason here. I got two reasons why. I, because of the, I, I like to see the, the Osmond come in first, and I like to understand how he can run a town a mayor when he's uh, 12 hours away. Like, you know, the other day there, the, 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 he wasn't, they couldn't contact him to sign checks. They couldn't contact any of the councillors but me. So, you know, if there's an emergency in this town, what are we going to do when he's 12 hours away? That's my opinion, and I'll be voting no. Okay, thank you. Reason. So uh, it is carried. So, um, uh, Frederick, do you uh, accept the appointment? I do accept the nomination. Or nom nom sorry. Nom sorry. <laughs> okay, is there any other nominations? Okay, so can we get a first and a second um, that Frederick Diebel will be appointed to the office of the mayor? Uh, Brigida, can I get a first? Yes, I will first that. Kathy, can I get a second? Yes. So the motion reads, therefore be it resolved that Frederick Diebel be appointed to the office of the mayor pursuant to section 263 1A of the Municipal Act. Um, uh, this will be uh, a voted, uh, we'll be voting on this. Kathy, can I get a um, four against? Four. Thank you. Brigida, can I get a four or against? Four. Rod, four or against? Against. Okay, so that's, that is carried and we now have a new mayor. So I will be turning the, uh, so we're gonna have a motion to turn the duties of the chair back to our new mayor. Um, can I get a, someone to first that? Yes. Thank you, Kathy. And second that? Yes. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you, Brigida. So it's resolved that the duties of the chair return to the mayor. Can I, uh, Kathy, can I get a for or against? For. Okay, Brigida, can I get a four or against? Four. Okay, and Rod, can I get a four or against? Four. Thank you. So we'll be turning it back to the, to the mayor. Okay. Thank you, I just wanted to... Uh, Mr. Chair, if you just like, give me a minute here. I got all the respect in the world for you, uh, Frederick, but uh, I, 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 I am a counselor and I, make my decision on what my heart tells me to do. And I, and I wish you luck by now. Hey. That's enough for me. Thank you, Councillor. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for supporting me and all the, um, all the uh, 
all the motions put through so far tonight and i uh, just like to uh, say that I'm honored to be able to be in this seat tonight and uh, represent the people of the township of Nairn and Hyman. Okay, uh, moving. Mayor. Thank you. Okay. Congratulations, um, Fred, sorry. I'll get, I'll get, thank you. Okay, um, so seeing that there's no correspondences under number seven, we'll move now to motions. Oh, all oh, right, yeah, my bad. Um, we will now, I guess, uh, jump back to 6B. Um, Township of Nairn and Hyman CAO report 2020-02, options for filling the council vacancy resulting from appointment of a council member to the office of the mayor. Um, so I'll just like to get council's thoughts on that um, uh, in terms of filling the council seat now. Uh, yes, I'd like to. I like to have it filled by the by the last election, uh, the next one in line. If if that person wishes to take it. Okay. Is there any other thoughts on that? Yes, Mr. Chair. Um, it just in light of three and a half years have passed since that last election, and possibly people aren't interested and possibly new people are interested. Uh, so having said that, I support option number two uh, to appoint through an open call. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, is there, uh, Councillor Borier, do you have any thoughts on it? Um, I agree with uh, Councillor Jangra. I'm, um, having it an open call. Um, I believe that there are a lot of new people in town and it, it would be nice to see what people have to bring to the council chamber for us. I just got one, one little thing there. Okay. Uh, the, the next in line there, she was on council before and she bring experience to council. If she was, the, was uh, if she was picked to be on the council. And I think that's more important. Now, I respect all the people in town that are going to apply, but the next election is only, like you said, nine months away. They can put their name in, and and we, at least we have a, a, a counselor, you know, that's been on council before and knows how the how it works. Okay, um, I guess I can. Uh, we can. We have some motions prepared. Um, if I would just like to maybe uh, pull pull the councillors if if we want to um, if we want to put to motion um, both both motions or just uh, just the one because um, uh, I mean from from my from my standpoint I would like to select uh, open uh, an open call um, the person or the people that that did run in the 2018 municipal election are um, more than more than um, welcome to, to fill or to uh, apply for the position. So um, that gives the, the person from the 2018 election the chance as well to still have that seat. Um, so that's what I would like to see, um, but we can, we can vote on uh, both motions if we'd like, um, or we could just uh, vote on the one motion. Uh, it's, it's totally up to council or, if uh, depends on 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 uh, what motions we want to vote on tonight. Um, Mr. Chair, I would um, uh, for myself personally, I would uh, like I mentioned, uh, vote for option number two. Um, if there was a second motion on the table, I would absolutely vote. I wouldn't support the appointment from the 2018 election, though. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, uh, seems like um, option two is is what uh, what the uh, the consensus was uh, minus Councillor <clears throat> McDonald. So uh, we can we can vote on that and see where it takes us. Um, mm -hmm. I just like I was, I'm just going to ask the CAO for some clarification on this wording.
Okay. Um, um, so after reading the um, reading the uh, motion in front of us, uh, councillors, um, if we want, so uh, what we have right now is we can um, uh, uh, declare that council seat vacant and and declare how we're going to fill it. Um, but uh, as of right now, the deputy mayor uh, seat is vacant. Um, so we would have to select and motion that um, to see how we want to fill that deputy mayor position. If we want to fill it from council or the new person coming in uh, will be the deputy mayor. Um, so we, we would have to, to discuss that and then we can declare the council seat vacant if we so select someone from council. But as it stands right now, if we don't declare that council seat vacant, then uh, we would have to select the incoming uh, member of council as the deputy mayor. So I'd just like to get council's thoughts on that. Uh, Mr. Chair, would we be nominating uh, this evening for the deputy mayor, mayor seat? Uh, no, we don't. We don't have to nominate uh, this evening. We could move it uh, to the next council meeting and wait until um, and wait until uh, until the new person on council is 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 brought in, and then we can appoint a deputy mayor from there. Do we have to wait until then, Mr. Chair? Or can we appoint one tonight? We could appoint a deputy mayor tonight. Correct. Oh well, I'd like to nominate Councillor McDonald for deputy mayor. Hmm. Uh, okay, I'll accept. Okay, Councillor McDonald accepts. Um, so I'm just uh, reading the motion here. We have uh, a few scenario uh, scenarios motions. <laughs> <Sorry. Okay, so um, this one would be to appoint a member of council. So we can pass this motion declaring that we would want to fill uh, the um, the deputy mayor seat from someone from council if that is council's wishes right now. Um, so can I get a, a first for that one? Yes. Okay, Councillor Jinga, and a second, Councillor Borier. What are we What are we voting on right now? Uh, this is just to declare that uh, the deputy mayor seat has become vacant and we are filling it with a member of council. Okay. Thank you. Four. Okay. So moved by Councillor Jinger, second by Councillor Borier, whereas the council of the township of Naren and Hyman has filled the vacant seat of the mayor by appointing a current member of council and whereas the office of the deputy mayor has now become vacant as a result of the appointment, and therefore be it resolved that council now declares the office of the deputy mayor as vacant. And further that council directs that the vacancy be filled by appointing a current mem member of council, and that council will proceed with the selection and appointment of the office of the deputy mayor at this time. Councillor Borier in favor? Yes. Councillor Jingra? Yes. And Councillor McDonald? Just because a uh, regular nom nominated me, that, would I be in conflict of interest to this or? This, nope. this, is, just, this oh, is just to, this is just to declare the seat vacant and say that we're going to fill it with someone mm -hmm. from council. Okay, I agree with that. Okay, so myself is a yes, so that carries. I apologize for the confusion. Um, just there's lots of possible motions that we had. Um, so this is uh, the resolution to fill. Um, these are the resolutions to fill uh, for deputy mayor uh, from a member of council. So uh, now I will now ask uh, if there is any nominations. Yes, Mr. Chair, I move to nominate Councillor Rod McDonald as deputy mayor. Okay, Councillor McDonald, do you accept? Um, on one condition, uh, am I allowed to go back in that office yet? 
I receive nothing from counsel yet that I'm allowed to go to the office. I'll accept if I'm allowed to go back to my normal, I get my, all my rights back and the bad bill go in the, in the town office, go on any job site, I'll, I'll accept. But if, if I'm not allowed to go in the office, which I have not received anything from counsel, the last time I heard anything, the mayor, the former mayor said that he had that one more meeting that was months ago and I haven't heard nothing yet since. So if I'm, if you can give me something in writing or, or give me something that I'm allowed to go back to normal again, I would appreciate that before I accept this. <clears throat> okay, um, I, I I'm I'm not aware of another meeting happening, Councillor, and and um, my understanding I, I don't know if it was your understanding, but my understanding is that uh, you would be be allowed back at the office once your time period was up and you, you didn't have to receive anything in writing. Uh, once your time period was up, you were, you were able to return. Um, so I believe that time period is up now, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, now let me explain this. I was told, and I got a letter from the lawyer from the integrity commissioner, that council would suspend me for six months and then they review me. Well, I don't know if they reviewed me again after six mm -hmm. months. And I would, nothing was done since. I had nothing, no indication that I can go back in that office. And I asked the mayor, and I think, I don't know if you were at that meeting or not, months ago and saying that, you know, when is this going to be over? And he said they had to have one more meeting. That well, was months ago. And I don't know if they had a meeting or what the heck happened, but I never heard nothing more. It was a resolution saying that I was wasn't allowed to go in the office or go on any job site. So I think it should be a resolution telling me I'm allowed to go back in. All my rights are back again. That's what I would like to see in writing. Okay, uh, yeah, we can, um, we can pass a resolution stating that you're allowed to come back into the office uh, after the investigation. Um, just uh, wording it properly here. I'll be declaring conflict of interest on it too. Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Chair. Yeah, Councilor Jinga. Um, maybe while we're writing that, um, feel free to add my name to that too, so that uh, mine is complete and done and in writing. Also, I don't know if that's possible, but um, okay, you know, because both of us were at the same time uh, being given investigations and sanctions against us. So to know and writing that everything is finished and complete and uh, we're no longer under sanctions uh, to see it in writing would be nice. I agree with Councillor McDonald. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so um, <laughs> Uh, currently, the uh, the motion reads that Councillor McDonald and Councillor Jinger may now enter uh, the municipal office. Um, so, um, so uh, can I get a first for that? Yes. And a second. I declare conflict of interest. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, I'll second it, Mr. Chair. Okay. Moved by moved by Councillor Borey, second by Councillor Jingara, that Councillor McDonald and Councillor Jingara may now enter the municipal office. Uh, Councillor Borey in favor. Yes. Councillor Jingara. I'll abstain. And myself is a yes. So that carries. Okay. 
<clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you okay, very so much. Now we will move forward uh, with filling the vacant deputy mayor seat. Um, so I believe, um, I believe, I yeah, I believe that um, we had the motion to nominate uh, Councillor McDonald and Councillor Zingra moved it. And uh, Councillor Borea, can I get a second? No. Okay, uh, Councillor McDonald, a second? Well, I can't second my own. Okay, I will, uh, I will second it. So we have uh, moved by Councillor Jingra, second by Mayor Diebel. Therefore, be it resolved that Rod McDonald is nominated to fill the vacant seat of the deputy mayor. Councillor Borier in favor? No. Councillor Jingra? Yes. And myself is in favor. That carries. May I clarify, Mr. Chair? Yeah. My, I just don't feel that Councillor McDonald didn't want you to sit as mayor because of he's calling into question your integrity. And he's been already found guilty by the integrity commissioner. And so that mm -hmm. is why that is what my decision is based upon. Thank you, Councillor Borier. So now I will move on to filling um, the position. Uh, so this is to uh, appoint the deputy mayor. Uh, so um, Councillor Jingra, can I get a move? Yes. And I will second. So moved by Councillor Jingra, second by Mayor Diebel, therefore be it resolved that Rod McDonald be appointed to the office of Deputy Mayor pursuant to Section 263-1A of the Municipal Act. Uh, Councillor Borier in favor? No. Uh, Councillor Jingra? Yes. Myself is a yes. So that carries. Thank you. I look forward to working for the taxpayers. Again. Congratulations, Councillor. Oh, thank you, Brick. Okay, um, now I have the motion on the table. This is, uh, I think this is the motion we were all waiting for uh, here is to, um, is to declare the councillor seat vacant at this point, and this is just to declare the seat vacant. Um, this is not uh, not how we are going to fill the vacancy. This is just to declare the seat vacant. So mm -hmm. Councillor McDonald, can I get a first? Yes. And Councillor Jingra, second? Yes. Moved by Councillor McDonald, second by Councillor Jingra, whereas uh, the, the, town, the Council of the Township of Nernan and Hyman has filled the vacant seat of Deputy Mayor by appointing one of its members. And whereas the Office of Councillor has now become vacant as a result of the appointment, and therefore be it resolved, the Council now declares the office, uh, one of the offices as of uh, Councillor as vacant. Councillor Borier in favor? Yes. Councillor Jingra? Yes. Councillor McDonald? Yes. And myself is a yes. And that carries. Okay. Um, now we had some discussion on uh, how we were going to fill um, that uh, that vacancy, and I have a general a general, um, a general uh, idea of how council is going to uh, go with this. So I'll, I'll proceed with this motion um, and uh, we'll see, uh, this is the motion to fill uh, 
option number two to fill uh, the vacancy from the members of the community. Um, so I'll we'll put this to a vote. So uh, can I get a first by Councillor Borier? Yes. And a second by Councillor McDonald? Yes. Moved by Councillor Borier, second by Councillor McDonald. Resolved that Council will proceed to fill the vacant office uh, of Councillor by an open call for nominations from qualified individuals. And that the clerk provide notice to the public of the method selected by Council. The application period, uh, in individuals, individual qualifications and other relevant considerations necessary for interested members of the community to be considered for appointment. And that the selection and appointment of a candidate take place at the council meeting of, um, uh, this, was, um, this was another discussion that, that, um, that we could have. Um, I believe it has to be done um, by March, before March 10th. Um, so we can declare that for the February council meeting. I believe March 10th would be too early for our March meeting. I'm yeah, not letting. We'd have to have discussion. Okay. So uh, we could either, we can uh, select a date or we can uh, before March 10th, or we can uh, move it to the February uh, meeting. So I'd just like to get council's thoughts on that. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, just so I'm clear. Um, so if we pass a motion tonight, we can post it and then at the February meeting, make a selection from the applicants? Correct, yes. At the yes. February meeting? Okay, Correct. I'm in favor of that. Thank you, Mr. Chair. <clears throat> Is and there I any? With, I agree with other counselors. Um, I uh, I like to go with the other way, but I have to respect council decision, and uh, it looks like the, they're going to go that way. So, I'll 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 go along with them. Okay, okay. So I'll I'll read that. Um, the other way, I'm happy to have a, a taxpayers come a new one come to the table. Either okay. way. But so I'll, I'll read that motion that. again. I'll read that motion again with uh, with the new date of uh, February's council meeting. So moved by Councillor Borier, second by Councillor McDonald. Resolved the council will proceed to fill the vacant seat, uh, vacant office of councillor by open call for nominations from qualified individuals, and that the clerk provide notice to the public of the selected method by council, the application period, individual qualifications, and other relevant considerations necessary for interested community me members of the community to be considered for appointment and that the selection and appointment of a candidate will take place at the council meeting of February 14th at 7 p.m. Councillor Borier in favor? Yes. Councillor Jingra? Yes. And Councillor McDonald? Yes. Myself is a yes, so that carries. Okay. Mr. Chair, I just had a quick question. Uh, when would we post it and how long would the deadline be? Do we know those things or? I think that would be a question for the CAO. So I'll just turn it over oh, to the CAO for that. For you, Mr. Chair, I'll ask her. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and through you. Um, I, I've given this some thought if we had decided to go this way and um, I think we can get the message out fairly quickly to the community. So I was thinking that the uh, period for accepting applications would be until the end of January, which would give me enough time to make sure that um, each applicant um, could stand for nomination. And then uh, they would be brought forward to the council meeting on February 14th, if that's uh, what council wishes. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you, uh, Belinda. <clears throat> okay, um, I guess we'll move on now. Uh, we are done with uh, everything in, in Section C, uh, minutes and reports, I believe. Uh, so now we'll move on, considering there's no uh, seven, no correspondences, we'll now move on to motions. Uh, 8A, Village of Sunridge regarding uh, Northern School of Medicine capacity. Um, Councillor Jinger, can I get a first? 
Absolutely, yes, Mr. Chair, this one's important. Thank you. And Councillor Borier, a second. Yes. Moved by Councillor Jinger, second by Councillor Borier, resolved that the Corporation of the Township of Naren and Hyman endorses and supports the resolution of the village of Sunridge that urges the provincial government and the Ontario Medical Association expand this Northern School of Medicine's capacity and bring additional healthcare support for Northern Ontario. And further, further that, a copy of this motion be sent to the Premier of Ontario, the Minister of Health, the Association of Municipalities of Ontario, the Northern Ontario School of Medicine, and Phonum membership. Councillor Borier in favour. Yes. Councillor Jenga. Yes. Councillor McDonald. Yes. Myself is a yes, so that carries. Uh, moving on now to other business, number 11, discussions regarding the development of separate vaccination policies for volunteers and or council members. Um, I assume there'll be some discussion on this, so I'll open the floor to councillors. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair, I would definitely like to see a policy. Uh, the cases aren't getting any better. Um, and the other thing I'd like to see, along with volunteers and council, is like just our regular protocol. Like if we, I know we're not there yet, maybe we'll just wait, but if we were to like open up our hall or if there was something be in the hall, what what would the guidelines be for people entering? Uh, so I don't know, maybe that's a bit too soon, um, but I would love to see us have a full policy in place like that regarding <laughs> vaccines and regarding actions at uh, our municipal facilities. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Uh, is there any, uh, I, I'm in agreement that, that we should, um, that staff should develop a, a, a report that we can take a look at and have policies for council members and for volunteers. Um, and, and this uh, motion in front of us is just to uh, direct, um, direct the CAO to develop a, a policy and, and then we can vote on it later. Um, so is there any other discussion on that? No, I'm good. Okay. So uh, I'll ask uh, Councillor Borier, can you move that? Yes. And Councillor Jingra, a second? <clears throat> yes. Moved by Councillor Borier, a second by Councillor Jingra, resolved that Council directs the CAO to develop separate vaccination policies for volunteers and Council members. Councillor Borier, in favour? Yes. Councillor Jingra. Yes. Councillor McDonald. Yes. Myself is a yes. That carries. Okay, we will now move to uh, bylaws. These are just um, bylaws we have to pass every January. Um, let me just, okay, so. Uh, this is uh, bylaw 9A, bylaw number 2021 or 2022-1, being a bylaw to charge a rate of interest on tax arrears. Uh, Councilor McDonald, can I get a first? Yes. And Councilor Jingra, second. Yes. Moved by Councilor McDonald, second by Councilor Jingra, being a bylaw to charge a rate of interest on tax arrears be read a first, second, and third time, and finally passed in open council, and its number shall be 2020-1. Councilor Borier in favor? Yes. Councilor Jingra in favor? Yes. And Councilor McDonald? Yes. Myself is a yes. That carries. Um, so this is 9B, uh, Councillor Jinger, can I get a first? Yes. Councillor Borier, second? Yes. Moved by Councillor Jinger, second by Councillor Borier, uh, being resolved that a by, being a bylaw to provide an interim tax levy to provide for the payment of taxes and to provide 
for penalty and interest of 15% per annum be read a first, second, and third time, and finally passed in open council, and its number shall be 2022 dash 2. Councilor Gorey in favor? Yes. Councilor Jingra? Yes. Councilor McDonald? Yes. Myself is yes. That carries. Okay, this is for the conform conformatory bylaw. Um, for the confirmatory bylaw, Councillor Borier, a first. Yes. Councillor McDonald, a second. Yes. Moved by Councillor Borier, seconded by Councillor McDonald. That being a bylaw to confirm the proceedings of Council of the Corporation of Township of Naren and Hyman be read a first, second, and third time. And finally, it passed in open council, and its number shall be 2022-3. Councillor Borey, in favor? Yes. Councillor Jingra? Yes. Councillor McDonald? Yes. Myself is a yes. That carries. And this is to uh, close the meeting. Um, is uh, Can I get a first on this? Yes. Shingra and a second. Yes. That's Borier. Moved by Councillor Shingra, second by Councillor Borier. Be it resolved at the meeting of January 10th, do now adjourn at 7.56 p.m. and to meet again on the 14th day of February, 2022, or at the call of the mayor. Councillor Borier in favor. Yes. Councillor Shingra. Yes. Councillor McDonald? Yes. And myself is a yes. And that is carried. And that is it for the agenda this evening. Thank you, everyone. Oh, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Good night. Congratulations, Stay warm. Mr. Congratulations, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Good night. Good night.